I yesterday I went to the parish church service, which I was asked to go to, I was told I must go, and it was the um, spoken Eucharist. And there were two priests down there. There was the, the main priest, the high priest, who was dressed in special robes, or a we were driving, and he's, he's, I can't remember his name, but he's the vicar. And he's a Norman, and he's the second son of Lucy. He always says he's a one of our roots. And, uh, and the one on the right was Devil Squires, who was a system priest, as long as a server, was already. And he wears a white robe, which means he's taken certain exams, and he's supposed to be divine. And, and he's supposed to be pure, but I wish he was pure, but in fact he's a nasty one that goes with killing people. And uh, I think he takes frosties as well. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. And uh, I think they were, I think they were single, and uh, I think that's the other wife died when she was young, but unfortunately. Don't know what happened to Tirana. And, uh, and, and he lives obviously, and he's attacked me several times, so he's not a nice person. That's why I like the white robes. And the one in the middle on the left is, is the, the high priest with the robes, and he calls himself the vicar. And he actually represents the queen, that's what he does, because the queen's in the church here. Yeah. And uh, I, I think he's well educated, he has, I think he's one one science degree, and he has um, also divinity degrees as well. And, and he does some good things, I mean, just do good things but bad things. And uh, but Neville, I'm not sure about. We complain about Neville, basically, not, not the priest, not the vicar. I know mean, I'm quite well, vicar told me that uh, yeah, there could be aliens, you know, but he's been silenced from the bishop. It was undermined the church. So I can't, I, the, the pretty high priest is more available. And uh, the service is quite interesting. And I wonder why you call me. And uh, that's, this, this, this is what I attend today. Uh, they call me the Islamist, you know. But I can worse do Islam because I saw these churches of Christianity. Well, the Muslims, some of them are doing similar things. It's just as bad. They're both wrong. You see, it's extremism that's wrong. It's killing and murdering that's what's wrong. And torturing. If we were to do that, criminals. And, uh, well, what goes behind British behind secrets in closed doors? You don't know. But in, in Britain, it's all secret. You know, I think got gas chambers in Britain too. Right. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm going to get up there. Dastardly Armagh, just as Pilgrim's footprints impressed the soul. And when we join, and I hope you will join in whatever capacity, our collective pilgrimage next year to Canterbury, whether that be in a supportive role, walking 15 miles or less a day, or even 50 yards in total, I don't care. It can be a collective enterprise of us all. We will be doing the same thing as that pilgrimage towards Santiago, except in the Canterbury example, we will reach that destination in that one go. Our parish pilgrimage to Canterbury will link us with Chaucer and all the pilgrims down the ages. And in reaching that destination of Canterbury, the focus of our National Church of England and the Anglican Communion worldwide home, we will have ample reminders of how our parish church is but one of many. And our work what we give to St. Mary's, including our money and our time, is a sign and symbol of that commitment, a commitment to the whole. Our support, not only of this place, but of other poorer paths in the diocese. And next week, our preacher at the 9.30 will be a priest from another, more deprived parish than this, in the Diocese of Southwark, to give a face to some of the work which our contributions help to provide. It also enables us to support our outgiving charities. And having spent so much money recently on ourselves, as it were, in this building, our focus we wish to be more outward <coughs> And Mercy Ships is now the latest charity the PCC has adopted, and we hope to support. starkly reminds us of what can happen when we forget the responsibility that accompanies such a rich inheritance. Let us pray then that we 
we might be found worthy of what we have been entrusted with. Not just being good stewards of these walls and stones, but the whole Christian life that we are called to live, which is rather like the pilgrim way, a route designed for many to tread. And I hope as a parish and as part of this diocese, we can enjoy the company of each other, fellow pilgrims on the way. Share our packed lunch with those whose knapsack is not so full. Lend a hand when tasks emerge that must be done. Kick away the loose stone out of the way so that others who come later will not stumble. <coughs> Take less pride in reaching the destination first or in the quickest time, but delight in the collective journey with all that that implies. To go back to our reading, to press on and to strain forward to what lies ahead and become serious about sharing the prize of that heavenly call. Amen.
pray also through Christ for all those who for whatever reason are hungry or homeless and for those who work tirelessly to relieve their condition. May we open our hands wide to our brothers, to our poor and to our needy in our land. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all who are sick and bereaved. There are some we know who are not well, some who are fearful and in pain, and some who are close to death. Be with them now, Lord, as we name them in our hearts, or out loud, and especially Claire Ryan, Kath Stark, Sally Bass, Catherine Beatty, Sean Seedy. Give them courage and hope in their troubles, and bring them the joy of your salvation. Say no heavens and be joyful over. The Lord has comforted his people and will have mercy upon the afflicted. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Here is as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ, and especially today for Valerie May, Edward Bichette, and all those whose memory we here hold dear, and those who grieve for them. May we with them glory only in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and be able to say with St. Paul as we prepare to face God in our turn, we have fought the good fight, we have finished our course, we have kept faith. And finally, rejoicing in the fellowship of Mary and of all your saints, we commend ourselves and our lives to your love, praising you with uprightness of heart that you will guide and protect us in the love of Christ who is all and in all. In the words of St. Francis of Assisi, may we preach the gospel at all times and, when necessary, use words. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
doing the same diet that he was betraying. He took bread and gave him thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of it. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so far the calling to mind is death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world. Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, of praise, and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people. And gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup. So that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, will honor and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those. 
Let us pray. Almighty God, you have taught us through your Son that love is the fulfilling of the law. Grant that we may love you with our whole heart and our neighbours as ourselves. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Thank you. 